What's up, everyone? It's Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today, we're going to change things up a little bit and talk about a manga series, uh, one that uh, was one of the first ones that I read recently uh, as I was getting back into manga and got me really excited for it again. Um, Planets by Makoto Yukimura. Let's dive in. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post a new video. It also helps us out if you hit that like button, so please, please press that thumbs up. Um, check out Dr. Squatch if you're interested in a soap subscription company. They're one of our sponsors, and uh, basically what they do is they bring soap or other men's healthcare and grooming products to your door. Um, once a month, however many times you'd like. With a link down in the description below, you will get free shipping on your order for the life of your subscription. Um, so check that out. Matt uses them. He loves them. They have really cool scents. Be sure to also check out our Patreon. For as little as a dollar, you will have a chance to win a hardcover comic. That could be a deluxe edition, an omnibus, an absolute. Uh, be sure to check that out. Link down in the description below. Planets. Now, I call it Planets because of that extra E that's there between the, the T and the S. You know, it gives me a little bit of a French flavor to it. So I say Planets. Could be Planets. Um, let's say it's Planets from now on. But uh, this is a fantastic manga series. In front of me, I've got the two Omnis that Dark Horse released for the series, Planets. Um, this is, uh, like I said, by y Makoto Yokimura, who... Uh, famously now is working on Vinland Saga since 2005. So this was uh, the first manga that he did. Um, starting in 1999, went through uh, up until about 2005. There's 30-ish chapters in total combined in these two books. And uh, it's a fantastic series. I love Vinland Saga very, very much. But oddly enough, I actually read this before I ever uh, picked up Vinland Saga. Um, so this was one of those books I was looking to branch out a little more with my with my collection um, a few years ago. And, you know, I was getting excited about all these different books and things like the Akira manga, bo manga box that were uh, coming out, getting announced, all these crazy, crazy cool things. And so I started you know, thinking, hey, I may as well uh, get into uh, manga a little bit. And um, and so I picked up Planets. Uh, I, I know at the time, Dark Horse was also publishing other Omnis. There was like a, a Corpse Delivery Service book. Um, and, and then as I forget the names. I, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not really great with this. But um, I, I decided to go with Planets because it was just going to be the two volumes, so not a huge investment. And you get an entire story, uh, which I was very excited about. And um, it was great. It was great. So basically what the story is about, it's about this crew uh, that works on a ship called the DS-12. The DS-12 um, is a trash collecting uh basically ship, a spaceship. Um, the year's about two, 2074, and you get to see, you know, years pass, and you get to see characters grow, but uh, it starts off in the year 2074, um, and space travel it is a big thing. You know, there's people on Mars, um, they're planning a trip, uh, a, a manned mission to Jupiter. Um, you know, the moon is, is not uh, an unusual place to find people and to find um, astronauts working. So, you know, the, the space race has evolved and grown, and they've started mining, uh, minerals and, and um, fossil fuels from other planets. So you, you get to see sort of how, you know, a, a little glance into the future if a space uh, exploration, you know, keeps advancing at the rate it's advancing at. Um, and so, yeah, it follows this crew uh, of a few characters. So you have Fi, um, Hachimaki, and Yuri at the start. You start off with these three characters. Um, they're all very distinct characters. They're all very different from each other. Um, and then a, a, a lady called Tanabe joins. And so that's basically the, the four uh, at the most, right? That's where it maxes out is those four characters. You get to see, of course, uh, periphery characters like um, siblings and parents and, uh, you know, friends, uh, children. Um, so a lot of these characters have, uh, you know, they have a life and they have relationships and they have families. And it's really cool to see them interact together as astronauts working on their missions, saving each other, you know, being the tight knit family out in space as a, a trash collecting and debris collecting team. But then also seeing them back home, right, and seeing how, you know, the, the people that, um, they're leaving behind whenever they go into space, how those people are surviving, um, how they feel with the whole situation, what they do to cope with the fact that, you know, every, for months, years at a time, their spouse or their child or their sibling is out in space. And that's really 
what makes this book so great is it's it's a really slice of life uh, emotional character piece where you get to explore all these characters and different mindsets when it comes to space exploration um, very realistic mindsets i think and it's really great to see again how the families influence them and moral decisions influence them in dreams and aspirations it's a very emotional book um, it's a very feel-good book there are a lot of chapters that'll make you feel amazing you'll feel very happy and and then other times you'll feel really sad because they bum you out and it's a really great um, a really great story for that. I think Makoto Yukimura in general is really great at drawing emotion out of you. He's really great at facial expressions and the way he tells a story it can be repetitively dramatic at times but it works man it works it works so well. Um, I love the way he he writes it's uh it's really great that it because he, he's just doing more than action. There's action in here. There are some really intense situations and a lot of drama. There's a lot of uh, dark character moments in here as well. Absolutely, don't get me wrong, but um, it's really great to see the human side uh, uh, in a book like this, right? Usually when I think of manga, it's you know a shonen or a seinen where it's super action-oriented and um, a lot of violence, fantasy, or, or high high sci-fi right where you've got these crazy mecha suits or whatever it may be and and this is sort of like a little more realistic approach and a little more focused on characters and people and and interacting with each other and growing as a person overcoming your fears and challenges in your life it's really really cool and uh the artwork's fantastic if you've ever seen uh yukimura's artwork it's very crisp very detailed um his characters are all instantly recognizable and um, he, he's just great. He's great. He's hits really good emotional scenes. Like I said, he can get very trippy and psychedelic at times. And then when it comes to action, he's on point as well. It's really easy to follow what's going on. And um, it's great. I just really, really enjoyed it. And these, while they're, you know, soft cover um, Omnis, they're not bad. You know, I've, I've got them in pretty good condition. I've read the series about three times at this point, had it for a handful of years. And, and these are holding up okay. I'm thinking I might bind them maybe because I really do enjoy the series and I think it's one that I will reread. Um, I'm not sure if these are available. They're, uh, you know, they retail at 20 US, 16, sorry, so, no, 20 US dollars. Um, so I don't know if they're still available. I got these years ago on Amazon, but this is um, probably the best way to collect the series. I wish it was a little larger size format, but the paper is really, really nice. I don't know if you've ever looked at a Dark Horse um, omnibus aside from the Berserk ones, but this paper is really, really nice. I don't know how it compares to the, the Berserk releases. You get a few color pages in here as well, and these little short stories that, um, that, that Yukimura wrote. Um, with sort of you know they're they're pretty funny they're just like four panel stories but you get a whole bunch of them thrown in here and there so it's really really cool it's a great a great series it's only two vault two omnis like this so you're not you know reading a series that's going on and on and on and on but if you are interested in that uh yuki Moore is doing vinland saga it's been going since 2005 it's a phenomenal series vinland saga is one of my favorite mangas of all time granted i don't read too many mangas but vinland saga hit the spot I, I wish i didn't have to sell those hardcovers but um i had to i had to i'll wait for oversized versions someday but i highly recommend checking out planets let me know what you guys think do you have any suggestions for me uh, similar style books you know sort of slice of life uh, more character driven as opposed to action and, and plot driven um, please let me know down in the comments below and uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already we post content daily about comics um, you know from all over the world at this point so um, hit that notification bell as well it'll let you know whenever we post a new video and hit that like button too it really helps us out check out our patreon where we're doing hardcover comic giveaways there's a link down in the description below there's also a link down there to get you free shipping on your soap subscription with dr squatch they're one of our sponsors they deliver soap to your door matt uses them he absolutely loves them to death and uh, we highly recommend them so be sure to check those out and stay safe folks this is mike from the hardcover comic thank you all for tuning in you stay classy, Internet.